Hey everybody, it's Jared from Save Saving Couple. Today I'm going to show you how to install a wireless door chime kit. This one here is by Newtone, who actually did sponsor this video, but all views expressed are my own, not anybody else. Uh, this is going to be a quick video because this is a wireless door chime kit. Great for anybody who doesn't want to mess with electricity or even if, if you only have an apartment, you don't actually own your home, you don't have to worry about messing with any electrical inside the walls, it takes batteries, and it works wirelessly. So, super simple to install, so let's get to it. Okay, so before we get started, this is the chime box, three D batteries installed. The D batteries are actually sold separately, they don't go out come with those throw the D batteries in here. This is the, the mounting plate, so you don't actually have to mount this to a wall if you don't want to. Actually, you could just sit this straight flat on a, on a flat surface if you had one. Um, I am actually going to mount it to the wall, so we'll get to that in a moment. The actual wireless push button comes with the batteries for that. Use a screwdriver to pop open the the back of the, the push button. Mom. And you install the included CR2032 lithium battery right into the back. Just like that. Here's the second one. like that. Now, that one works. Let's try this one. Okay, now as you can see, two different push buttons each gave uh, each a different tone. The instructions here will show us how to uh, switch to different tones. There's eight different tones that we can. Oh, I'm sorry. It's eight tone Westminster or 15 other sounds. So there's 15 different sounds that we can connect here. So next, what I'm going to do is you're going to make sure that you don't really mount the chime uh, too far away from the push buttons. So what mine's going to be is going to be the push buttons going to be on one side of the wall. The chime's going to be really on the other. So I'm not going to have to worry about that. But what you're going to want to do before you permanently mount both of these devices, you're going to want to test them, make sure that they actually uh, work before you um, screw in any screws and make it permanent. 